So today we're going to look into extension services for information agency, chapter two, type of information, type of extension services in information agency. Okay, what is extension services? Extension is a process or a service way of getting knowledge developed from one environment to the other. Extension service is a system or service which provide people or a community an opportunity to have access to beneficial service or facility which under normal circumstances they would not have been able to avail themselves of. Okay. Extension service with regard to information services is the provision of information material and services outside of the information agency, regular or main service center or outlet. Okay. What is extension services in library contact itself? We look into library contact. Extension services is the activity of lending or delivering books and other form of information to users who are distant from the library or who may be relatively near to it but unable to travel to it. In a public library environment, it can also mean the library, uh, the extension of public library services so that they reach more and more people. In library context, by Rates, JM at least 2004, define extended services as programs and activity that enable a library or library system to deliver traditional services outside the physical walls of its facilities, including book mobile, book by mail, and the direct delivery of library material to patrons. SR Ranganadan, Dr. SR Ranganadan description of extension services. Apart from such method of pure publicity, libraries are now a days developing certain new type of work which in addition to the uh, to their being directly educative or recreational lead also to publicity as an important secondary product this activity are named as the extension services of libraries meanwhile dr joyce gupta said that extension services is an effort of a library to increase the number of its user to make the maximum use of its resources. Okay. Uh, if you look here, by rates, JM is a uh, repetitive of the first one explanation. Okay. Extension services, if carefully observed, are included as one of the service provided by the main library of any type of library. Extension services are also a form of publicity as it promotes the new library services and inform the public or consumer what the library has been doing. This is basic organizational structure of a library you have here. Chief librarian, under here we go to the right hand side, you have human resource or administration. You have deputy chief librarian and then you have three department under here, technical service department, reference department and circulation department. Usually we have four department. The other one is acquisition department. Okay. Reason for providing extension services, it is provided as a convenience to user population where travel to the central library is difficult or expensive. It is to create image of the library among the public and government. Maximizing the use of library resources, it creates and stimulates the desire for good reading and bring information, resource, and reader together. Okay. Here, if you look at this uh, reason for providing, it cater four re main reason why we need to provide for information uh, uh, extension services in information agency. So, reason for providing extension services, the among of the reason is type of difficulties. We have physical disabilities of person, homebound or institutionalized, economic disability, lack of transportation and safety reason. What is type of difficulties? Physical disabilities of a person, people with physical disabilities such as physically handicapped and also mentally handicapped, which prohibit them from regular traveling. This one is making the person that has this kind of ability restricted 
to go or to travel to the to the library itself. Okay, it's not the same as normal person. So you have here the second type of difficulty. We have homebound or institutionalized due physical due to physical injury or sickness, but not physical handicap. It also can be mean that if you are detained, you are being prisoned, you are being uh, whole held in a, an institution, maybe in a psychiatric institution or a medical institution. And then we have economic disability. People, uh, poor people will travel in cure expenditure that they can't afford as minority, as priority is on making ends meet. What does it mean by making ends meet? So making ends meet means that if that person, he or she have some amount of money, maybe the money is for his uh, daily life intake, for his food, for the house, not for traveling to, to go to the library to get some information. Okay? Their economic disability prevent them from visiting the library on regular or irregular basis. Lack of transportation and the poor public, uh, the the poor public transportation system, the inability of the majority of the community to pay the transportation expenses. So maybe the library is situated in certain place at the certain state and the, uh, the transportation system doesn't go near the library itself. Okay. For example, I take uh, Sungai Petani itself. The library is uh, is situated at Jubilee Park, but the transportation system, the nearest one, is to be dropped uh, in front of Kamda or KFC, and you have to walk about two hundred or three hundred meter to go to the library itself. Okay, this uh, by meaning the library doesn't go near the uh, information agency itself. Not the library, sorry, the transportation. Type of difficulty, another thing is safety reason. Okay, physical safety of a user or the community and also material safety. For example, if the place that we are staying is quite dangerous or can become dangerous for ourselves if we go outside of our house. And also for the material safety, for example, if the uh place is outside uh Sungai Petani. And if you want to bring uh it to Sungai Petani, we need to go to some place that is flooded, have some uh, re outside risk, weather risk. That is material safety. It will jeopardize the uh, the safety of the material itself. Okay, reason for providing extension service number two is to create image of the library among the public and government to impress the stakeholder and user to secure fund to help portray and paint a good image. Okay, so if we have somebody giving given uh, an opportunity to us, give us money to use, then we need to show them what we are using the money for. Maximizing the use of library resources. Maximize the use of available resource by extending the service beyond the central organization. New and additional customer reach. It creates and stimulates the desire for good reading and bring information resources uh, and reader together. This one reflects to the law of library sign, the first law and the third law of library sign. The first law is book of for use. Every book of for use. Okay, the third law of library sign every book has its reader every book every material being published or be made have has its intended reader the extension services are effort to reach the maximum number of people based on the principle profess in the first and third law of library science okay this is the type of user of extension services we have people in rural area People in suburban area, people with physical and mental disability, people who are homebound, people who are elderly, people in detention institution. What is people in the rural area? Rural areas or the country or countryside 
are areas of land that are not urbanized. Though when large areas are described, country, towns and smaller cities will be included. They have a low population density and typically much of the land is devoted to agriculture and they may be less air and water pollution than in suburban area. Okay, so this by meaning if we say in our language, rural area is kawasan pedalaman, perkampungan. Okay. People in rural area by Malaysian Statistic Department, Statistical Department in 2000 census define rural area as an area with population less than 10,000 or area which is not gazette. Okay, and some of the small town may be included as rural area. Okay, the rural people of the developing and underdeveloped country are in dire needs of the information extension service as a mean to empower them towards self-development. So people in rural area, they are tendency to have information as to improve themselves, as to make uh, the knowledge uh, gather. The rural uh, area <coughs> can be considered uh, far from developed uh, area. People in the suburban area in the United States and Canada, suburb can refer either to an outlying residential area of a city or town or to separate municipality, municipality borough or unincorporated area outside a town or city. In many parts of the developed world, Suburb are different from the American suburb. Okay, in some cases, suburb of city outside the of North America are economically distressed area, inhabited by higher proportion of recent immigrants, with higher delinquency rates and social problems. Okay, people in suburban area in Malaysia, suburbs are common, especially in areas surrounding the Klang Valley which is the largest conurbation group of town and city in the country. These suburbs also serve as major housing area and commuter towns. Terrace houses, semi-detached houses and shop house are common concept in suburbs. In certain areas such as Klang, Subang Jaya and Petaling Jaya, suburb from uh, form the core of this place. The latter one has been turned into a satellite of Kuala Lumpur. Okay. Suburb are also evident of smaller collaboration including Ipoh, Johor Bahru, Kota Kinabalu, Kuching and also Penang. Disabled people in their home or institutionalized, homebound people in their home, elderly people in their home or care center. This is another type of extension service that we need to provide, uh, user that we need to provide extension service for them. Okay, people in detention institution, there are several detention institution. For example, prison, juvenile detention center, immigration detention center, psychiatric prison. Okay. So a prison is a place where those convicted of violating a federal law under the legal system who are then incarcerated at a prison that exclusively house similar criminal. So a place where de you detain people who break the law. Meanwhile, juvenile detention center of uh, house juvenile offender in most countries are educated and confined in a justice system separate from that which deal with adult. Juvenile is considered not adult yet. So it cannot be mixed with adults. A secure residential, residential facility for young people often term juvenile delinquents awaiting court hearing and or placement in long-term care facility and also program. Individual health in, in an immigration detention center have uh, faced no other criminal charge beyond unlawful entry into a country or similar alleged crime. In some instance, a person held in an immigration facility has served a sentence for another type of crime in a country detention center 
and is transferred to an immigration facility after that sentence, awaiting transfer out of the country. Pusat tahanan uh, pendatang tanpa izin, depo parti. Okay, kalau di, if in Kedah, uh, the place is in Belantik Sik. Psychiatric prison, some psychiatric facility have characteristic of prison, particularly when confining patient who have committed a crime and are considered dangerous. In addition, many prisons have psychiatric units dedicated to housing. Offenders diagnosed with a wide variety of mental disorder. Yeah, okay, this is uh, another type of uh, prison, but it mainly for people who have a mental problem. Okay, the library should be where most people will see uh, it most often and should have its own building. At least it should be part of a larger building, be clearly separated from other parts and have its own main street entrance. A branch library or information agency should not focus its budget in getting a building, but premise, especially designed for a branch must be planned. It is good to concentrate on the collection and service, but making the branch library attractive, bright and clean is a must. Okay, we have entered to the type of extension services. There are two types of extension services. The first type will be the permanent services and the second type will be the one-off or event based. This is the main two types of extension services. It can be either one. Either you make it one type only or you combine permanent and one-off. Okay, the extension services and activity may fall under permanent or temporary services or under both category depending on the activity, locality and necessity. This is be, uh, has been considered as the permanent services, branch services, mobile services, rural library, information service center, community service center. What is branch li library? An auxiliary service outlet in a library system, house uh, in a facility separate from the central library, must be far from the central library, which has at least a basic collection of material, a regular staff and established hour with a budget and policy determined by the central library. A branch library is usually located in major town in the in a state or in a suburban area of a metropolitan area. The same goal with branch archive is also given the objectives F as the national archive. They to collect and preserve all archive record and material which has historical and value but confined to a particular state in country. Meanwhile, a museum, it is organizational structure, usually does not have a branch with similar collection as the National Museum. Other museums within the country, if administered by the National Museum, will have a different type of collection, such as War Museum, Culture Museum and Social Museum. It doesn't been called, it does not been called as branch museum. Okay. Museum Negara. We have in uh, Kuala Lumpur, we have Museum Negeri in Kedah. It is a branch. It is um, a sub museum to the main museum, but we doesn't call it. This one is a branch library of Museum Negara. It goes by the name by Museum Negeri Kedah. Okay. So permanent service, we have mobile service. The library book mobile is one form of mobile service. It's more than just a bus or other wheel transport with books. It is in fact a full service mobile library. Mobile museum in is a term applied to museum that make exhibition from a vehicle, such as a van. Some institutions use the term to refer to a portion of their collection that travel to site away from the museum for educational purpose. Other mobile museums have no home site and use travel as their exclusive means of presentation. For example, pameran mayat or pameran hantu once pernah dijalankan or have been done in Malaysia itself. Go by the region, uh, northern region, southern region, uh, eastern region, uh, 
uh, center region this is what been done go by the region and then we have rural library a rural library is a library or library system that serve a population living primarily in rural area village and in remote communities rather than in a town or city okay the function of rural library or village library are to provide information to those individuals responsible for rural development program support rural education program and rural school and serve as center for community education and culture okay so rural library are different from branch library branch library is a part of library main library being put in suburban area or urban area or uh, suburban area meanwhile rural library being put in urban area far from it it's not a part of branch library okay and then we have community information service or cis the community information service is offered to assist the society to attain beneficial information for their daily life the service include outreach program and also consultation outreach program what is outreach program outreach program is a community service okay we do something for the community serve the community and then we have interlibrary loan this can be another form of extending the service in particular the loan service to people beyond the boundaries of the central library together with the mail service it could be an effective method of reaching to the mass okay so by meaning interlibrary loan is a loan being done by library uh, loan being done by library to another library that i have uh, that have a close relationship with the first library okay in a uh, in the same system or in the certain system that being created okay one of our event based services we have outreach program or project exhibition mobile activities conference seminar workshop carnival fair and festival outreach program and project community outreach program and project most often target rural and or minority population including small focus group and larger mm -hmm. more general deprived population library outreach program could mean the library use a center use of outreach program in rural areas or suburban area meanwhile community outreach is generally stated to be a strategic combination of resources and talent that will exceed the capability of individual working alone outreach support come from funding agency whom are often either giving back to the community or are extending their own resources into new new territory Community outreach program and project most often target rural and or minority population, including small focus group and larger for more general deprived population. Okay. <clears throat> exhibition. An exhibition is the most general sense. It's an organized presentation and display of a selection of items. So exhibition can be conducted in two ways, two ways, huh? physical space and digital space. You can do it physical and you can do it digitally. And then we have mobile activities. It's an activity that can be executed outside of the central information agency, premise, and also using the mobile service facility. And then we have roadshow. Roadshow is the same as you go to the concert. They are using the term roadshow. Roadshow or traveling exhibition, also referred to as a traveling exhibit or a touring exhibition, is a type of exhibition that is available for circulation to one or more venues in addition to the premises of the organizer. Okay. That's all for this topic. Do you have any question? Do you have any question?